I was thinking about some of the parenting tools that I go to first. When I've got kids that are struggling, when I've got, um, you know, just kids that have amped up behaviors. So I was thinking about what are those go-to tools that I use. So the first one I say that I use the most is probably choices because it's super easy. I can do it very proactively. So when I know I've got a kid that's really struggling and everything I say seems to be just kind of one of those, they're going to battle about whatever I say. So I start off with choices and I give choices about everything. We're talking all the little things that I'm doing, I'm giving choices. So what a choice would look like would not be eat your vegetables or go to bed hungry. Um, Cause that's just a threat. That's just a consequence. It's kind of disguised as a choice. So you're not at the, you know, playground saying, okay, make a good choice. You can choose to obey or you can choose to go home. That's not giving a choice. But what a choice really is, is I'm giving two equal alternatives. You can walk beside me or you can hold my hand. You can stay out until 10 o'clock or until 1030. So I'm giving these equal alternatives because really, if I say you can stay out till 10 or 1030, obviously I don't care if you stay out till 1030. The kids are going to pick 1030. You know, so I'm talking teenagers, right? We have at our house, we have kids Uh, We have an adult child. We have one that's 18 all the way down to uh, an eight-year-old. So I'm using choices on so many different levels with my kids. But really what a choice is, is I'm giving my kids a voice and I'm giving them an opportunity to have some control in the situation, even though I'm setting what the choices are. Now, anytime I'm struggling to find a choice, like let's say my kids need to clean up their room, then I can do a couple of things. So if they're cleaning up their room, so let's say my, my girls, so my 12 year old and my eight year old share a bedroom, um, and they have the messiest room on the face of the planet. I'm just going to say that. I don't know. It might not actually be true, but their room is really messy. And so I could say, just go clean your room. And then I'm going to get them to, they're going to be flailing on the floor. They're going to be screaming. It's too dirty. I can't do it. Da, 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 da. So I have a couple of choices that in that moment that I can do. One thing I can do is if I have the opportunity, I can say, would you like to clean it by yourself or would you like me to help you? They're always going to pick for me to help them. And that's okay because I get a chance to connect. I get a chance to go in there and help them sort through things and do things. We do that all the time. But sometimes that's not an option. Sometimes I really need them to do it while I'm doing something else. So I'll say, would you like to pick up your Barbie dolls or would you like to pick up your Legos? So obviously they're going to pick whatever they think is the least, you know, hard to do. And that's okay because they still got to pick. So they, maybe they say, oh, we're going to pick up Legos. Okay. You pick up the Legos first. Um, and then come tell me when you're finished. And then I can give them a choice of two other things. So you want to pick up your stuffed animals or do you want to pick up your, uh, clothes, dirty clothes off the floor so they can, I can give them these choices one after the other. They get some control. They don't feel overwhelmed. They feel like they're being heard and they're having a chance to really pick what they're doing as they go along. We do that all the time. When we have meal time, we're saying, do we have um, multiple options for vegetables? My kids, for the most part, are pretty good vegetable eaters, but there's a few vegetables that they really don't like. So I have some kids that don't like uh, broccoli and they really can't stand it. And so usually if I'm, if I have an option that I know my kids really, really don't like, then I'm going to make sure I have multiple options for them. Um, If that's not a possibility, then maybe I say, would you like two pieces or three? You know, so I'm going to give them options. I'm going to give them choices. They need to be equal alternative, equal, you know, choices, not again, a threat that's disguised as a choice. Because oftentimes that's our go-to as parents. We say, I'm going to give you a a choice, but the choice is, you know, you can leave the party early or you can sit down beside me like I asked you to. You can stop screaming or you can go to bed early. Um, And so those are not really choices. Those are threats. Those are consequences that we're imposing on our kids. But when we're really talking about choices, the thing that we want to make sure is that we are helping our kids get to the place we want them to go 
by giving them options along the way. It's kind of like when you're playing um, like Candyland and you you draw a card and it maybe it gives you a, you know, you can go ahead two spaces. Candyland's probably not a good example. I don't think it, I'm thinking of board games, right? So you get a board game and it might say you can go ahead two spaces and then you get to that space and you've got an option. You can draw a card or you can, you know, do something silly. Um, there's all these different ways that we can give our kids choices. We're still directing where they're going to go. We're still getting to them to the destination that's in front of us. We still, if it's bedtime, we can say, would you like to put your pajamas on first or brush your teeth? It's still bedtime. We still have to get to bedtime, but maybe there's some choices along the way that we can give our kids in order to get where we want to go. So we as the parent can still get our kids to where they need to go, but our kids can feel like they have a little control along the way. So that's one of my favorite um, go-to parenting tools that I can use both proactively when I know my kids are struggling and reactively when my kids are maybe not doing what I want them to do and I need to redirect them in the way that they need to go.